Today we're going to talk about what to do if you encountered a dew point issue when performing the installation quick check. If you haven't seen the installation quick check video as of yet, you can follow the link below to check it out. When conducting the installation quick check, the first thing we looked at was the ambient conditions, including and noting the ambient dew point. Now this will be listed at the bottom of the CMEX5 as soon as you walk in the room, being picked up by this hygrometer. And we're gonna compare that again to the surface temperature of the slab using an infrared thermometer. And we just are making sure that the surface temperature of the slab is at least 10 degrees Fahrenheit above the ambient dew point or five degrees Celsius above that ambient dew point. And this is gonna ensure us that we don't have ambient moisture that's been drawn into the slab. Now, if we are inside that 10 degree Fahrenheit or five degree Celsius cushion, there's some simple tricks you can implement to pull that moisture back out of the top of the slab. In this situation, your best friend is gonna be air movement. And we can implement this pretty easily by using fans and running them across the surface of the concrete slab. What this does is it actually pulls the moisture back out of that surface area and puts it back into ambient conditions. If your ambient relative humidity is too high, preventing the air from being able to hold any more moisture, you may need to run dehumidifiers. And you should see generally within about an hour or so, you'll start to see some changes in those numbers. Now, once you've implemented the fans to remove the moisture from the surface of the slab, now we're gonna follow with the concrete moisture and counter depressed to the surface to get the percentage moisture content. And we wanna see that that percentage moisture content has come down to an acceptable level for installation. If that number has not come down to an acceptable level for installation, this can be a sign that you may need to mitigate. Now another situation could be that when I enter a job site, I see that I have a dew point issue, but I push my meter to the surface and I'm getting 4% as my percentage moisture content reading. So the question would be, does the dew point issue now matter? The answer is yes. You want to correct that dew point issue again with fans and then go back and test with the meter and you'll see that that 4% has probably come down. Generally, older concrete will have a lower percentage moisture content than a newer concrete. So sometimes even seeing 4% with a sighted dew point issue is indicative that there is some moisture up in that top one inch portion of the slab that could affect your flooring installation. By implementing this installation quick check and understanding how to solve problematic dew point conditions, you can protect yourself against moisture related flooring failures.